Well, good morning. Welcome to today's Morning Moxie. Let me just go ahead and confess that I am in the throes of another crazy week, but I couldn't let this day go by without sharing some more insights with you. And today I wanted to share with you the four cornerstones of empire building. And the title for today obviously is Every Queen Needs Her Castle. So let's get started, shall we? So as you know, one of the key things of empire building is diversifying your income. And that's why I highly, highly, may I use the word highly, recommend becoming a multipreneur. I feel multipreneurship is a very cornerstone of on which you can build your empire because when you have multiple streams of income, it just, what is it? It gives you more opportunity and also lessens your risk. So revenue is the first pillar upon which you want to build your empire. And the second one related is investment income. Now, when a lot of people are talking about passive income, one of the key things that they're actually looking at is, um, I was gonna say affiliate income that actually goes under revenue, but also the dividends that you earn from investing, right? So you wanna buy uh, stocks that generate dividend income, but you also could look at say, consider peer-to-peer -peer lending as an investment because you are making loans. And of course you're getting the repayment, but you're also getting the interest on those loans that you make. So highly want you to consider that uh, investment should be, I was gonna say the second biggest, not the second biggest, but it is one of the keys that you need for your empire. And that also includes the capital gains that you earned on your other investments. In addition to, um, <clears throat> okay, so when you invest in stocks, mutual funds, uh, ETFs, and et cetera, number one, they, some of them, not all of them pay dividends. So you want to choose ones that do pay dividends. And of course, make sure that you tune in for my uh, course on trading in TR so that it helps you pick wisely. So anyway, um, there are various assets that generate dividends. So you want to choose those. You want to look at, um, the other way that you make money is through capital gains. So that means if you bought it for $10 and then it went up to $20, well, that additional $10 is your capital gains. Now, people don't like capital gains to some degree because they have to pay taxes on what they made. But at the same time, if your portfolio is increasing, that is what we call a good thing. So those are a couple of different ways that you make money from investments. Now, I wanna say I'm not necessarily doing these in any particular order, because like I said, when you build a found, um, an empire, you picture um, visually a structure. So there are four corners or four foundational pillars that you're building upon. And the other, the big one is your network because you can't go it alone. Well, let me rephrase. It's much harder if you go alone, right? So what do you need? You need, um, you need a support system, that's huge, right? You, it, if you do this by yourself, it's just gonna be that much more difficult and it's not necessary for you to fight solitude at the same time that you're trying to climb the mountain, right? So you need, you need a support system. Um, as a business owner, you definitely need clients, but you also need your back office, right? So you need a team and you need people, you need a tribe, these are your clients. Right, and you need to you need to try because you want to teach them, you need to lead them, and inspire them. But you also want to have someone to carry on the torch. So you must have a network for your empire. But for the title of this moxie, every queen needs her castle. You need real estate. Real estate is one of the greatest wealth builders, historically speaking, and it will continue to do so as long as there are humans in place who need a place to live, right? So I'm recommending that you start with your personal residence because you already need a place to live. So why not make some money from your personal residence? And in doing so, first of all, like I said, you need a place to live. It's going to appreciate in value. And you can also use that as part of your retirement income. And by that, I'm saying, if you rent it out, then you have the income coming in. Or if you sell it, then that lump sum can go and be invested and then you can live off 
I don't know, the withdrawals. So those are three definite ways you can make money from real estate. And depending on what the rest of your estate looks like, then you may be able to pass that on and help your heirs build generational wealth. So you need some property. Um, and if you're feeling brave, then get some investment property, whether that's commercial or uh, residential. Again, that's buy and hold. I'm a buy and hold investor. And, you know, so you can get that rental income. And, and then when it's time, then you sell it off. And again, like I said, that either goes toward your uh, retirement income or helps you with your tax situation as you grow older and things change. So that is one of the biggest things that I just cannot hammer home enough. So that's why I thought I would bring it up in today's Morning Moxie. So remember, Queen, your empire needs four strong pillars. That is uh, diversified revenue streams. That is going to be investment assets and real estate and also your network. Now, there are several other ways that you can invest in real estate, and that is... Actually, on my other channel, I have a download that talks about the five different ways you can get invested in real estate. But rather than talk your head off here, I'm going to let you go until the next video. And I hope you have found some value and some inspiration in today's Morning Moxie. And if so, please share with a friend. We love to have new folks on this channel. And I invite you to subscribe if you have not done so already. So that's today's Morning Moxie. And I will see you on the next video. Cheers.